Five days till Christmas. Woo -woo. Five days till Christmas. There's five days till Christmas. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm so excited to give presents to my boys and see what we've all gotten and have some yummy food. But first, we're here today doing this, aren't we, Pastor Caitlin? Yes, we have the last episode in our Jesus Is series and our series all about Jesus and why we even have Christmas, why we celebrate it. We hope you really know that now <laughs> and you can share that with someone in your world. But today's episode is all about Jesus Is Emmanuel. Have you heard of that word before? I have, but what does it mean, Pastor Caitlin? Mm. Well, we're going to learn all about it today, but a little sneak peek, it means God with us. Let's have a look and see what happens. Shepherds came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. Here lay the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! I hear the angels sing. Hello, Connect Kids. This is our last Bible story in our Christmas series. Do you know what we might be talking about today? I know we're talking about Jesus is Emmanuel, but I wonder what our decoration might look like. 
before we have a look, let's go through all our decorations and see if you remember what each one represents. Remember we started week one with the scroll, which reminds us, uh, reminded us that Jesus is wonderful. And then we had the star that the wise men followed. And Jesus is our counsellor. And then we had the angel and telling Mary that she was going to have a baby. And Jesus is mighty God. Then we talked about Joseph, who was a bit confused about becoming a father. And we're reminded that Jesus is the everlasting father. Last week, we talked about the shepherds and the news that Jesus had come to bring peace and that Jesus is Prince of Peace. And this week, we're talking about Jesus is Emmanuel. I wonder what our decoration will look like. <gasps> oh, look at this. It's a very cute little baby Jesus asleep in the manger. And you see, the Christmas story has lots of wonderful parts in it. It talks about Mary, who was chosen of the Lord, and in that moment chose to say, Yes, God, what you say, I will do it. We talk about Joseph, who had a choice to not follow through, but when he heard the truth, he, followed to be, he decided to be obedient to God and become father. We have sh wise men who knew how to study the stars and knew that a new king had been born and that they must come and worship him. We talk about humble shepherds who were watching their sheep and were given this great news by angels that the prince of peace had been born. And all of those things testify to the fact that Jesus was sent, that God sent Jesus to live with us and be among us and that at Christmas the tree's fun the presents are wonderful but gee, this is the real meaning that in the midst of a world that sometimes is yucky and not so nice God came to be with us and to help us and you know this is just really the start of the story Jesus didn't just stay a little baby but he grew up into a man. And at Easter, we remember that he paid a price for sin so that now we can call him and we can be called friends of God. And so I think of all the weeks and of all the amazing things that we've learnt in our Bible stories, this is my favourite. That in the midst of a dark, hurting world, Jesus is Emmanuel. And he is with us. I wonder what Pastor Caitlin has to say about that. Hello, everyone. Come on in. Welcome to Pumpernickels. Good to see you. Hey, kids. It's me. Happy. Happy Helperton. Your favorite greeter at your local Pumpernickel store, where everything is just one nickel. Today, I'm here to direct you to today's power verse, which is, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew, tw Matthew 1, 23. Well, deck my halls, that power verse was great. Now, what I need is for all my girls to stand up to their feet and say the power verse with me on the count of three. Ready, girls? Here we go. One, two, three. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew, tw Matthew 1, 23. All right, now girls, you sit down and all my boys stand to their feet and say the power verse with me on three. Ready? One, two, three. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. 
Matthew tw Matthew 1, 23. Great job. You can be seated. Well, kids, I get so excited and happy because Christmas is almost here. Just think about it. Jesus coming down from heaven to be a little baby here on earth because he loved us so much. Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Think about that. Isn't that wonderful? Something to celebrate. Hey, how about this? How about everyone stand to your feet and let's say that power verse on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew, tw Matthew 1, 23. Great job, kids. You can all be seated. Well, Happy's got to go help the customers. So until next time, remember, during this season, don't make a fuss. Have a happy, happy, happy Christmas. Bye, kids. <laughs>
Why don't we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of these things that we've learned about your son Jesus over this series. Jesus is wonderful. He is with us. He is Emmanuel. We thank you for that, God. And I pray that you reveal these big things to our Connect Kids over these coming weeks. Show us more and more of who you are, Jesus. We love you. And we say a big happy birthday in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. to the double T L E S Skittles in the hizzy and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today we are talking about how Jesus is Emmanuel. That means God with us. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. Jesus is with me every single day. Jesus never leaves us. He's with you wherever you go. Jesus is with you in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is with you at school. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of any triangle is equal to the sum of the square root of the other two sides. Jesus is with us everywhere we go. He came down from heaven and came to earth so he could be one of us. He's with us everywhere and he knows just how we feel. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. Jesus is with me every single day. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out. Merry Christmas, baby. Hey, Caitlin. Yes. Merry Christmas! Oh. <laughs> oh, how special! We can't believe how close Christmas is. It's so exciting. And we hope you have the most wonderful Christmas with lots of presents that, and things that you want under the tree and lots of time with food. Lots of time with food or lots of time with family? Lots of time with family <laughs> and lots of yummy food. Maybe that's a bit better. Yes. But most of all, we hope that in this season you remember that it's actually all about Jesus. Yes, so don't forget to say happy birthday to Jesus on Christmas Day because it's his birthday and he's a reason that we get to celebrate and have all this amazing fun. So don't forget for at least a moment to say happy birthday, Jesus, and to thank him for all that he's done for us. We love you so much and we hope you have the best week ahead celebrating Christmas. And don't forget at Connect Kids to be kind. The Lord is with you wherever you go and wash your hands. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>